Welcome to Simple Watch Talks. Today we'll take a look at two watch collections made out of three watches from Casio. We are looking at a watch collection that is around 200 USD and a watch collection that is around 250 USD. The first watch collection will be a little bit on the biggerest side and the second one will be on the smallerest side. I only included watches that I have personal experience with and I try to get as much of a versatile watch collection as I could. Let's start with the first watch collection, a little bit on the bigger side in terms of wrist size and also around $200 for the three watches. First one is the Casio Duro. Nothing more you can say about this watch that wasn't said before. Great value for the price for around 45 USD. Quartz watch, very accurate, 200 meters of water resistance, screw down crown, stainless steel case, beautiful uh, dial in my opinion. You have a date window to keep track of the date, variable dial, beautiful handset, very good finishing stainless steel case you have this uh, rubber strap uh, that is very comfortable and you can swap it of course for leather or any or anything else you want and the rotating bezel is very satisfying action is actually pretty good pretty easy to operate beautiful watch for the price you can't go wrong with this one the second watch is this casio edifice efv 100d an homage of the omega keymaster aqua they are beautiful watch very legible i look at that contrast between the blue and the white on the dial this is one of my favorite watches to be honest in my collection i, I really wish i could wear it even more than I do. Very beautiful dial again, uh, 100 meters of water resistance, mineral crystal, just like the uh, Castiodoro. Date window uh, to keep track of the date, screw down crown, which is great for water resistance. A very good finishing on the case. You have a signed crown here. Just a little bit more personality and personalization. The bracelet is usable, right? It's not very bad. It looks like it's solid from the side, but it's actually folded. I didn't have any problems with that, but again, you can swap it easily for any leather strap that you have laying around. Yeah, a beautiful watch for the price. You can go wrong with the Edifice line and definitely you can go wrong with this Edifice EFV 100D. And the third watch, a lot of people say this watch is ugly. It's not ugly. It is a very, very capable, beautiful watch in my opinion. A little bit on the bigger side, so be careful with the wrist size. And Again, if you like it, uh, just wear it uh, with pride. Around $40, nothing that I can say bad about this watch. The button layout is actually great. It's so easy to operate this watch. This is for me the best buttons on the Casio, to be honest, at least the ones that I experienced. You have everything you will ever need in a watch, all the functionality. This is a beater watch, so you don't have to baby it. It can take all the beating. This is as close to a Casio G-Shock as it can get without the actual G-Shock name brand. 200 meters of watch resistance, mineral crystal. Uh, it has a wall timer, you have alarm timer, uh, stopwatch, very, very capable watch, and it has a very decent luminescence. The strap is very comfortable. I had no experience with the Casio G-Shock DW5600. Sometimes when it's on sale, it can be the same price as this one. So I would say maybe that one as well, it can be an option. This one I had experience with, I'm more comfortable uh, recommending to you guys. Now let's go to the around $250 collection that is a little bit more small wrist friendly. This is the Casio MTD 1053D. This is my favorite <laughs> diver watch, to be honest. I compared it to the Casio Duro in a video, I'll leave it in the description. For me, this is the best alternative to Casio Duro for someone who has a small wrist and doesn't want to have a 44 millimeter case size. This one is only 40 millimeter. It offers screw down crown. It offers 200 meters of water resistance. A, a very nice um, rotating bezel that improved with time. I remember that when I reviewed this one, it was a little bit clunky. We have a 50 fathoms inspired dial. I really like it. It has a lot of personality. Again, 200 meters water resistance, screw down crown and a, a date window case finishing is actually pretty cool for uh, the price. It came with a bracelet that is very horrible. I swapped it right away for this blue nylon that matches the dial and bezel. Quartz watch, very accurate. You can't go wrong with this watch here. Second watch in this collection, A158W. This is as much watch as you will ever need, to be honest. If you had $20 and you only could buy one watch and keep it for the rest of your life, I think this is it. You can wear it with anything, so it's very versatile. It has everything, it has your time, it has your alarm feature, it has your stopwatch, and that's about it. Just what you would want to have in a watch, nothing more, nothing less. The case is made out of resin plastic that is uh, plated and the bracelet is made out of stainless steel great watch its only drawback is the backlight it's a little bit too weak in my opinion but again for the price you can really go wrong with this one and for my third choice in the second watch collection the casio g-shock gwm 5610u for me this is a watch collection killer if you have a watch collection you don't really have strong ties to the watches in that collection stay away from this one because this one is gonna take all your wrist time. I always take off watches before I go to sleep, but this one made the exception. I just love the watch. I just love it. Uh, the dimensions are small wrist friendly, 200 meters of watch resistance, G-Shock, you can beat it up as much as you would like. This one has solar power, so you don't have to worry about swapping batteries down the line. And it's also radio controlled, which means 
it's gonna be the most accurate watch in your collection and it has all the features you would like uh, just like the dw291h it has a wall time function it has an alarm function stopwatch uh, timer and uh, yeah anything you would ever look for in a watch the only drawback is the actual buttons for me it's a little bit difficult to press but other than that for the price you pay for this one you get everything you would ever need in a watch it, it can take a beating and the the strap is actually very comfortable to wear for a long time yeah here are the watches side by side these are some of the greatest watches casio has ever produced if you want to check out individual reviews there are links in the description if you like this video please leave it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel for more thank you so much for watching